Welcome back to Paper and Plates. My name's Natasha and I'm glad to have you back with me today. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed. We are over 70 strong now and if you are not subscribed, please don't forget to hit subscribe. You can either hit the red subscribe button or my logo is in the lower corner of the video. Also, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. That helps my channel. It also helps me to know that you are enjoying this type of content. So today I wanted to talk to you about my ink sample journal. Whenever I buy new pens or new inks, I always test the nibs or those inks in my ink sample journal. And so I thought this was a good opportunity to show you the format of my journal. I haven't tried this before, but I'm going to attempt to put a poll in this video. I'd love to hear how many of you have your own ink sample journals or cards or some sort of system for tracking the different inks that you buy or try. If you don't see a poll pop up in this video, then can you tell me down in the comments below? I just really would love to hear that. And if you want to tell me more about what your system is like, I'd love to hear that. But today I'll show you what my system is. I also was encouraged uh, to make this video just because I bought a new journal because my original journal is now bursting and I needed a new one. Um, so I'll show you the new journal that I bought. So. I told you in my, um, <coughs> excuse me, in my back to school slash office restock video that I like to use Filofax notebooks for my ink sample journals and that's because the pages are removable and um, because they're removable you can rearrange the notebooks in any order and I like to keep my inks organized by brand. Um, and color. So this is my original Filofax notebook and so it has a rubber, uh, or not rubber, I'm sorry, um, elastic um, band on it to keep it closed and um, it has a binding on it and so inside it comes with a ruler which I do use so I keep it in here and so sometimes if I try inks and I am trying to use them over a few weeks because um, I usually will ink up a pen I don't fill them I probably use inks for just a few days I am kind of an ink hoarder uh, so I don't like to fill pens I cha change them out every three to five days and so if I fill a pen I've that would take me probably a month with how much I write to use them up so I will usually just write the ink name so I don't forget which ink I put in a pen and until I've used it for a few days and I know what I think about the ink then I'll just put the name in the notebook and then later on fill out the page so that's what that is right there but anyway I'll skip ahead to a page that I filled out okay so the I put in the brand of the ink then I put in the name of the ink then I have a cross hatching so that it's a good way for me to see either if a pen that I'm using, cause I under that you'll see in a bit, I do have what pen I'm doing my first ink sample with. So um, I'll have a uh, different cross hatch from different angles with the, the nib. Um, so that tells me the color as well, as well as a little bit about the nib that I use. And then I have a an example of the shading for the particular ink. Then under that, I put the date that I'm doing the first sample, and then I have what the pen brand and nib size is that I'm writing with. Pen brand, pen type, and uh, pen model, and the nib size. And then one cool thing that I love about my ink sample notebook is that it doubles as a collection of some of my favorite quotes. So sometimes it's, uh, I'll go searching for a quote when I have a new ink that I want to put in the notebook. 
Um, so for example, right now I have a few inks that I need to put in here and it's since it's fall, I might actually go and look for some quotes that have to do with fall. And if I find some that I like, I will put them in the notebook. So it's not that I just have a whole bunch of quotes that I know of that I'm putting in here. Sometimes I did, uh, you know, at certain times I have some in mind, but usually I'm going searching for quotes that I like and I'll put them in here. But other times if I don't have a quote ready, I just write um, comments and a colon. I'm kind of type A. So <laughs> I'm very specific on my format, but I'll write comments, colon, and then I just write what I think about the pen. And that's why I wait for a few days of writing with the ink um, and, and the pen before I do my ink sample. So I want to know if the ink is super wet writing or dry writing or if it feathers on some of my favorite fountain pen friendly paper because I only write on fountain pen friendly paper um, or if um, I don't know I have any sort of issues uh, or lack thereof with the ink or the pen that I'm using. So I like to just spend a few days with the pen um, and the ink and then I will put that in the comments. And so even if I do write a quote, I will usually have comments in here, but it, this is one of my earliest quotes here. And so I, I didn't have comments. I wasn't doing that yet, but that's something that I do now. But that is the format. And so what I do, I'm looking now to see so for example, Noodler's American Eel, what I did is, you could see I did my first quote, but then as I or my boyfriend use, I inked up a new pen, I will actually create a new entry because that way I can see what the pen um, ink combination is like with different nibs, different pens. Um, and so I, it will just be kind of a continuing thing. And so I will, of course, insert the new inks wherever they may fall alphabetically in my notebook. And so what I did now is this notebook is filled. So I just ordered new paper and a new notebook. And I will have these linked um, for, from Amazon down in the description box below. So you can click that link and, and find these if you're interested. I got this one, it was on sale for $10. Different colors cost different amounts on Amazon anyway. But this Amazon Prime, so shipping was free and I got it in two or three days. Um, of course with Prime, it's pretty fast. But it's of course the exact same notebooks. Of course I have the, uh, ruler is in the back here and it also these notebooks come with tabs i don't use the tabs they're still sitting in the pink notebook they're just sitting in the back but if you want to divide up your notebook in some way um i actually think i had originally my blank pages behind a tab um but yeah if you wanted to divide up your ink notebook in some way then you could do that but i really love these notebooks for that purpose i told you guys in my um back to school video that the only drawback I find with these notebooks or with the Filofax paper is that it's not, it doesn't come in bright white. Um, it only comes in this off white color. So with ink samples, of course, that can be a drawback because it can change the perspective of a color, um, but, or the appearance of a color, but I don't find it to be a huge problem. There are some, colors where and let me see if I can find one really fast where I wrote it on I wrote the ink sample on a piece of for example Claire Fontaine paper and then I just taped it in because I thought it really did make a difference so that's an example of when I did that I'm trying to see if I can get it to focus but that's an example of when I did that because I thought that it actually the color actually looked different in on cream versus white paper and there are ch times where i actually think some of the inks look better against cream paper instead of white and so i want to note that as well so um yeah that's just a, a, a special note i do believe i'm trying to recall if i found filofax notebook 
paper, refill paper, in non-lined paper. I'd have to check again. I think it's only in lined paper. I can't remember if that was a different brand now that I saw. But I think if I, if I find it in non-lined, I'll of course have that link down below as well. But I like the lined paper for doing my ink samples. But I don't remember if I saw it in dot grid or... Um, actually, I do think they have it in graph paper. I think they have it in graph paper, but that might be only their their smallest notebooks. But I'll check and I'll have that link down below. But anyway, so this is a shorter video. I just wanted to show you again uh, what my ink sample notebook looked like. So if you see it pop up in future videos where I'm doing ink samples or pen reviews, then you'll know what I'm doing, what I'm using. Um, of course, if you have any questions about the Filofax notebooks or how I do my ink samples, leave those in the comments below, comment um, section below. I'll take a look. I always respond to my comments. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and sharing this with you and I look forward to the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.